I think you said you're, you're a pear shape right now, but we're gonna flip that pear around. Oh, shit. we got a band break. But it does have a whopping 132 grams of protein. Oh, wow. Um, okay, and the protein in this alone is 90 grams of protein. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome to this beautiful Saturday morning. I am Joey Suggs. This is Road to Ripped, actually on episode number 13, and it's gonna be lucky number 13 in my books. I have made it a point to myself to get some sun today, so we came to the gym first thing in the morning. I did, however, crush a little rice cookie treat on my way over here, been slugging some water, and I'm ready to have a good workout. Changes have been made, some things are definitely different now. We'll get into that in just a little bit. We're training shoulders today, two pieces of Mentos gum going down, scoop and a half of the bulk of Transparent Labs pre-workout, and let's get it. Before we get into the video, make sure to press the like button on the video. I know if I don't say it, you're gonna forget. And I can tell you right now, most of you guys are forgetting to even sub to the channel because like 60% of everyone watching is not subbed and that breaks my itty bitty heart. And with all the cardio I'm doing, it can't take any more right now. So you do that, I'll drink this, and let's have a good workout and a good Road to Ripped episode 13. All right, like I said, we're gonna do a shoulder day. Call this is a right from Lee Labrada. Okay. All right, so Man. Vince is actually the owner of Jim Jacks and sometimes- one of, one of the owners. One of the owners of Jim Jacks and sometimes he likes to kick my ass whenever he sees me right about ready to train. We're going old school right now, old school. I'll catch some clips, it's gonna be a good workout. They, gotta, they have to know the proper form before they watch me do it right here, see? All right, so this is more of a warm-up exercise, really starting to target the rear delts. So we did lying down about 10 to 12 lateral and then 10 to 12 forward. All the way together here. Stretch, stretch. Very full range of motion reps, and this was a really good warm-up for your rear delt. So we just did about, I think we did three sets here, very quick, high pace all the way through, then went straight into lateral races to a failure. So we did three sets there, and as you can tell, that was two failure. Then we worked into this leaned over rear delt focused shoulder raise. Uh, it's a lateral raise, kind of titties to knees, I guess, is what it should be. Completely leaned over, really focusing on rear delts, and you get a lot of trap work in there too. And that's why we superset that with this trap machine. Shoulder raises, 25 reps or about two failure. Look how much faster he is at shoulder shrugs than me. Um, and then into a shoulder press without using the back pad at all. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Two more. Up. One more. Get it up. Ah, uh, fuck. Whoa. All right, so uh. this last one, you get the lean back. Okay. Muscle confusion, right? All right. All right. I'm, I'm fucking confused. Lean back. Let's go, baby. So much better when I was able to lean back and actually press. Come on, get it down those ears. Let's go. Full reps. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Two more. Up. One more. Up. Ah. And then we did two sets of this right here behind the back shoulder press. One of the hardest front delt movements I've done, and I think because part of it's mobility, but it was rough. Give me some, let's go. Come on, get it up. 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, seven, don't quit. Eight, nine, two, good. Five. I don't know what booty magic that was, but that was horrible. So we're gonna do 10, and then 10. Okay. Swan dives, let's go. Alright. Was that 10? I just did. Okay. Oh shit, we got a band break. <laughs> uh, 
It's in the budget. It's in the budget. You're good. Ah, you're so tall. You stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Come visit the gym, Jack. Like old school. Short, <laughs> short and sweet. Get it done. It was good. It was really good. 30, 33 minutes and my shoulders are toast. He told me you can work out long or you can work out hard. I agree. Vince, you were my first trainer ever. Do you remember that? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Okay. Kinda. You weren't like like you are now. No, no, no. In fact, the first time he, he, he met me, uh, he said I was shaped like a pear. No, you, you had a pear shape, but I didn't tell okay. you that until recently. Yeah. I didn't tell you that when you while you were a pear shape. I think well, you did. Kid. I think, no, I, I, no, I, I, I no think way, you dude. said. I think you said you're you're a pear shape right now, but we're gonna flip that pear around. Oh, okay. Did I say that? We're, we're gonna turn right. it over. All right. Yeah. Maybe. I don't. Know. And I promise you, the first time ever working out was with him, and I couldn't lift my arms for two weeks. My parents <laughs> thought there was something wrong with me. <laughs> Eleven or twelve or something like that. Yeah. No, I think I think it was thirteen because I was 13. going into middle school okay. and I was getting ready for like football and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. You. We didn't do super heavy. You just weren't. You I just had, had a real I had never before, trained yeah. before. Yeah, it's all funny sick. how it all comes full circle, though. <laughs> That's right. Look at you now. Yeah, and now we're it's all about getting that foundation. True, it, it, it really is though, because you learn so much in the very first stages of yeah. working out that kind of builds your regular foundation for everything. Yeah, and else. if you get the wrong trainer, you get the bad taste in your mouth, and you might go a different direction. That's very Could true. Could have been playing piano. Yeah, I tried playing piano. <laughs> I wasn't good enough. <laughs> I didn't have the attention span. Whew, all right, workout done, cardio done. Also did a physique update, so I'll put it up right now. That was a very good workout. Me and Vince got it done quick, fast. I like training with him because one, he's very, very old school, like as old school as it comes. Um, and yeah, so he was my very first trainer ever, like the first person to ever put, put, put me through a workout. He used to uh, co-own a gym back in like my hometown, which is not very far from here. Um, and it's just crazy how full circle it is now. He's he's owning the gym that I work out at every day now. I've said it before, but um, always recommend the Gym Jacks if you're in Jacksonville. It's definitely the best gym out here for sure. And the environment is just on point. As far as the workout goes, very, very good. Like I said, as far as the physique goes, changes have been made. I experimented this week with dropping my calories and increasing cardio. Did it need to be done? Yeah, unfortunately it did. I'm not losing weight as fast as I need to be and I need to step it up. I need to take that next step. And if, when you're at a stalemate for about two weeks, it's time. It's time to lock it in, time to dial it down. So we have dropped calories down to 23 to 2200 calories, still maintaining over 200 grams of protein. And we've upped cardio by five minutes, six times a week. Briefly looking at my weight throughout the past like week or so, um, I fluctuated a little bit. I had a low weigh-in yesterday of 206, which is pretty good. And I had popcorn last night, so that's probably why my, I was a little heavier because when you eat popcorn high in sodium, you hold a little more water. Uh, but I can tell my physique is starting to lean out a little bit. I'm finally starting to see those lines again. My abs are coming back. The vascularity is coming back slowly but surely. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I am on that path and I have to keep pushing. I'm so ready to lock it in. I'm so ready to take my physique to the next level. Um, I've kind of been timid recently. I've kind of been holding myself back, not wanting to lose weight too quickly, but it's come to the point now where I have to put the work in to see the results. I have to go to that next level, push my body to that next level to get the results that I want. And I'm gonna be honest, just about every single day this week, I have woken up feeling like I have been beaten with a bat. Feeling like someone has just taken my legs and smashed them around with a bowling ball. But I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get my body to that next level. Um, and this is kind of where it might go past the point of uh, just getting ripped for fun, just losing weight for fun, just doing it for enjoyment. At this point, I'm, I'm on a mission. I'm laser focused on what I need to do and I'm not gonna let anything get in the way no matter how bad it hurts. That being said, I'm still listening to my body. If, if I need a rest day, I'm gonna take a rest day. If I need to take a day off cardio, I'll take a day off cardio and I'm trying to schedule that the best way possible. But just in this physique update compared to the last one, I definitely am starting to see progress and I am happy with the way this is trending. Uh, not gonna lie, look at the puddle I just formed on my, on my car dash just from talking here with the AC off in my car. I was already just completely soaked, but taking it to the next level now. It is one of the nicest days we've had in a couple of weeks, and there's only one thing I want to do right now.
and that is a layout. And what a day to do it. The UV is like a 10. It is absolutely beautiful. Perry lives at a uh, apartment complex that has a really nice pool. So could not have asked for a better day to lay out, get some sun. And if you didn't know, you look way more ripped when you have a tan. So that is the plan for right now. I'm just gonna lay out for maybe like an hour or so. I do have to get some work done later on today. Enjoying the day, having a nice big glass of ice water because it is very, very hot. Two things I will say about right now. Uh, one, laying out is one of the best things you can do, but definitely do it after you've gone to the gym because you will be so worn out from like just laying out in the heat in the sun, you're getting dehydrated. So definitely do it post workout. And two, if you were not aware, these TLF shorts can not only be used as training shorts, but also as a bathing suit. But we are practically fasted right now. So we need to go home and get some food. All right, well, for lunch slash my first meal of the day, we have a nice little salad. Let me show you what's going on in here. So in the bowl, we have the entire packet of this Thai chili mango salad kit. One of my favorite flavored sour kits. Salad, salad kits. Salad kits? Salad kits. Only issue is it's a little high in fat. Um, so instead of putting the entire packet of sauce on there, I did about three quarters or a half. Um, and then I'm gonna put the G Hughes sweet chili on there, which is a very similar flavor. And that's something I've been doing a lot is I've been getting the salad kits cause it already has like the full salad and like some toppings and stuff. And then just substituting a salad dressing. So I'll, I'll use the bold house for stuff like that or the G Hughes for something like this. And it works out really well. So this is five calories a serving compared to that sauce I think was about 300 calories total. So that helps out a lot. The meat on top of this is actually a mixture of ground turkey, 99% fat free ground turkey and ground beef, 93.7 lean ground beef. And I love, love this mixture because it adds a lot of flavor from the ground beef, but you still get the leanness from the ground turkey. Pound of each, just make it even, and that way when you track it, whatever the grams are, you just track it half and half. Works out great. Right here, two scoops of Transparent Labs chocolate protein. Forgot to have some out for the gym, so just getting it in now. And you can use my discount code, just SUGS, to pick up 10% extra when you order anything off Transparent Labs, which is very nice. And I just thought of this, but one more additive to put in the salad. One, to make it even higher protein, and two, to add even more flavor. Quest chips, baby. Um, now, I typically would wanna use the sweet chili ones, but I just don't have any right now. This bag of Quest chips, 140 calories, 18 grams of protein and they taste very very good and they add almost like a crouton crunchiness into your salad now that is a beautiful salad bite <laughs> yeah that is incredible this meal may be almost 1100 calories or like half of my calorie intake for the day but it does have a whopping 132 grams of protein. So at least I'm getting a little front loaded on my protein. And talk about volume is this bowl is literally the size of my chest, which is huge. And it's pretty filled up. So this and this is lunch for today. That is uh, that's pretty good, wow. Like very, very true to the bubblicious flavor. I don't know if it quite compares to the red and blue Sour Patch Kids, but it's definitely up there. A little bit of downtime, that meal took me like an hour to eat. We're gonna do some editing, sip on a little caffeine, and get ready for tonight. All right, got some work done, actually like for four hours almost. It is time to make dinner, and I wanna show you exactly what I'm making because it is a fan favorite, and I haven't had in a long time, and oh, I'm so excited. Here are all your ingredients. All right, first things first, two cans of tuna going into a bowl. All right, next, light mayonnaise, about four to five servings of that. Give it a quick stir. And if you needed a little more protein and didn't want the calories, you could add Greek yogurt to it. Unflavored Greek yogurt works really well too. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. As much as you want, zero cows. And normally I use yellow mustard, but I'm gonna use this Southwest mustard because I just don't have yellow mustard right now. Just a little squirt of that. And my favorite ingredient, no sugar added sweet relish. The back of the label says it has zero calories. I'm sure it has a little bit of calories, but very tasty. All right, go ahead and give this whole mixture a stir now. Hear this sound? This is what you want. 
like a good bowl of mac and cheese. I'm gonna do a little salt, a few cracks of pepper. And this one's optional, but uh, actually they're all really optional. But this one is some fat-free mozzarella cheese. I just did 20 grams. And just like that, in less than like three minutes, here is a meal you can have any time of the day that is insanely high in protein. Just how much protein, let me show you. So everything in here, 542 calories. Oh wow, um, okay, and the protein in this alone is 90 grams of protein. <laughs> All right, I know what you're thinking, but Joey, uh, you're just gonna eat it with a spoon. And yes, it is that good that I could just eat it with a spoon, but a couple of different options for you. First one, just some low calorie bread. 30 calories a slice for this bread right here from Sprouts and it tastes really good. You toast it, put it on top, delicious. Absolutely insane one, the tomato and basil rice cakes. So delicious. These are 50 calories a piece, but still not bad at all. What started it all, the pretzel crisps, 110 calories for 11 pretzel crisps, so 10 calories a pretzel, and that is an insane combo as well. And if you're like me on Road to Ripped, you wanna save the most calories possible. Dip chip carrots, cannot beat it. Close to no calories at all, and you get a nice little crispy crunch from it. Oh, I like don't make this meal for a while, and then I make it and I fall in love with it every time. Just can't go wrong. Me and Perry were planning on going to Top Golf tonight, so I was saving calories for that, and that's why I kind of front loaded my protein as well. But she got caught up doing some babysitting stuff, and so now I'm fitting for myself for dinner tonight. All right, quick little outfit check. Uh, shoes, I don't know, but they're comfy as hell. Shorts, Urban Outfitters, the fluffiest things you've ever seen in your entire life. And top, an oversized short sleeve hoodie from TLF. I've decided, uh, so June is my birthday month, and throughout the month of June, if you guys pick up anything from TLF, use my code, tag me on an Instagram story, I'm gonna screenshot it, and at the end of June, I'm gonna be giving away a $100 TLF gift card to someone who used my code throughout the month. I feel like it's like a good way to give back to people who are supporting me and really just thanking you all for what you've given me over the past couple of years that I've been doing this thing. So if you do wanna pick anything up, use my code, tag me in your Instagram story, and you'll be entered to win. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> As much as I want to, I'm not gonna have a glass so I can have something sweet later on tonight. And no, not you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have been doing a little editing, backpack obviously. We played this game called Shut the Box. So you pretty much roll dice, whatever you get. So that is nine. I would put down a nine and you just keep going until you can't anymore. And if you win, you get to shut the box. Pretty, pretty fun. Um, I definitely need a dessert before bed. <sighs> you should have guessed it. Cannot go a day without eating a rice cake mixture. This one obviously looks a little different. Kodiak cake mixture. Um, as you can tell, this one looks a little different than normal. Simple add, I just added like a teaspoon of this black cocoa powder. Uh, I had to order this off of Amazon, but it's actually pretty cool for making like Oreo type dishes. Um, I've been getting a ton of comments about the recipe for this, which I've talked about multiple times, but I'll go over it real quick. It is just 65 grams of Kodiak cake pancake mix, 100 grams of some sort of liquid I use, Fairlife low fat milk, and chocolate chips if you want. And that's it, microwave for a minute and a half, two minutes and you're good to go. I, like always, am going to top it with Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt. 200! You hit it? Yeah. Woo! Oh, and obviously switched up the dark chocolate chips for white chocolate chips. Still Lily's chocolate chips though, so still stevia, sweetened, same calories. Something about like a Oreo looking dish just seems appealing to me. Yep, just as tasty. With like, a, with like a hint of cocoa as well. All right, so when I mix it up like this, now it literally looks like a cookies and cream. I don't even know, like just deliciousness. That one's so much better than the other one. What other one? The and normal one? The one. The what? Than the normal one. Really? That was the best one. It's that much better, you think? Uh-huh. It tastes exactly like cookies and cream. There you go, this one's that much better. 
Um, so I guess you have to buy black cocoa now, which is hard to find. So last road trip episode, we, we failed at protein ice cream. Cookies and cream smash turned out pretty good first try. All right, let me run you through the macros for today because things got crazy. Um, we have our Rice Krispie in there, our lunch, like I said, about a thousand calories. The dinner that you saw me make, the recipe. Uh, I had some chocolates at Perry's house, and then this Kodiak cake recipe right here. 2,315 calories. That is really good for trying to hit my goal around 22 to 2,300. And I'm gonna be honest, I overshot my protein today. Um, I shouldn't have had the protein shake, but I was planning, like I said, of going to Top Golf and not having like a solid meal for dinner tonight. So I was trying to plan ahead for that, but totally fine. Um, I'll just probably have a little less protein tomorrow and be good to go. Road to Ripped is fully underway. I'm feeling good. I feel so locked in right now. Like I can go to the gym and get straight on the Stairmaster right now. I'm not going to, but that's how motivated I am to get in the best shape of my life. So strap in, make sure you're subbed to the channel, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video and get ready for the next Road to Ripped episode coming very soon. And check out the Sprouts grocery haul, which should be up either after this or before this. And the next Road to Ripped video after this is gonna be a full day of eating on 2200 calories, it's gonna be really good as well. So make sure to get ready for that. All right, see you in the next one, peace.